You know what happens to nosy fellows? Huh? No? He became famous as the director of such classics as Chinatown and Rosemary's Baby. But ever since 1978, Roman Polanski has been infamous for having sex with a 13-year-old girl and fleeing the United States. The 76-year-old director was arrested Saturday in Switzerland on his way to the Zurich Film Festival. He may now be extradited back to the U.S. He was a fugitive. Well, now he's no longer a fugitive. Uh, he was arrested pursuant to a warrant issued by over three decades ago. Polanski has lived in his native France for those past three decades, where authorities would not arrest him. He continued his work, garnering a Best Director Oscar for his 2002 movie, The Pianist. If brought back to the U.S. now, he may face time behind bars. I think it's likely that he's going to spend time in prison. He won't get the maximum that he might have gotten 30 years ago, but I think he will get a uh, significant uh, prison time. Polanski's life has often made headlines. He was married to actress Sharon Tate when she was murdered by followers of Charles Manson in 1969. It was eight years later that the director was accused of drugging and raping the 13-year-old girl he was photographing. He pled guilty to unlawful sexual intercourse in 1970 and was sent to prison for 42 days of evaluation. He fled the country when the judge tried to renege on the plea bargain. He talked to 60 Minutes about it in 1978. You ran away, <clears throat> Roman. You ran away. Well, I, as you say, ran away because I think that I was very unfortunate to have a judge who uh, uh, misused justice. The judge is now dead, and even Polanski's I victim really has asked that the charges time. be dropped. I've had a long time to get over it, and I wouldn't want to carry hard feelings around with me for my whole life. Meanwhile, the director's friends are outraged by his arrest. I'm ashamed to be Swiss, that Swiss is uh, uh, doing uh, such a thing to a brilliant, fantastic genius. Polanski has usually been careful not to travel to countries that may send him back to the United States, but last week when the L.A. District Attorney's Office learned he was traveling to Zurich, they sent a warrant for his arrest, and Swiss authorities agreed to follow it. Nancy? Ben Tracy in Los Angeles tonight. Ben, thank you.